Welcome to EA Sports live coverage of the Premier League. It's Nottingham Forest against Leeds United. The floodlights beaming down from the night sky. Without further ado, let's cross straight to Nottingham. Your commentary team, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Hi there, everybody. Martin Tyler here, along with the former Arsenal and England striker, Alan Smith. Yeah, you come into ground Sundays and you do get that buzz of excitement. And I've got it here today, Martin. Looking forward to it. This is the chance. He went in well. Nottingham Forest on the attack here, looking good. by the goalkeeper. It's a very crisp challenge there. Good challenge from a sliding tackle from the defender. Leeds United looking for a victory here, but it's not going to be easy. Corner, well, least said about it, the better. And he goes for goal! Well, they've lost the ball. And now he's looking for some support. Penalty at Aston Villa, Alan McAnally. It's a penalty for Liverpool. A slight delay as the ref clears the defenders. Here he comes, beautiful penalty, straight down the middle, goalkeeper out box. What a chance! Well, the practice worked for the corner routine until it came to putting the ball in the net. Yeah, almost looked the easiest part there, but poorly executed, took his eye off the ball. Yes, it was a goal for Liverpool, just to confirm that for you, the news from Alan McAnally. It was a penalty, and it's brought the score back to 1-1. Good control here, quite congested midfield, but good passing from this team. Good effort to stop that cross. Attacking now. Chance for it. Oh, that's a great block. A goal from uh, Fulham, Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Arsenal. 30 minutes played, 1-0. Cheers, Alan. Positional play of this player is really good. Goal news from the Etihad, Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for Manchester City, 38 minutes played, 3-0. Thanks, Alan. Attacking well here. And here's the cross and uh, the danger. And he takes the shot. Well blocked. The defender's done very well to clear that. <laughs> Opportunity to cross it now. In quickly. Well, we're halfway through. And we haven't yet got a goal to bring to you. Nil-nil at half-time. It's been gripping, hasn't it, the way these teams have gone about their business. Uh, it's an opportunity for the substitute to really make himself a hero here. The game is level, and can he be the man to instigate his team going in front? 
They're sending off at Brighton. It's a red card for Brighton and Hove Albion. They're down to 10 men. 47 minutes played. It remains 1-1. Thank you very much, Alan. Oh, no wonder we're picking him out at the start because he's been in terrific form. What a player. Oh, yeah, he's uh, he has been in a terrific kind of form and uh, you'd expect that. We're not sure what the referee's going to do here. Got the cross in, which was important. The defender cut it out. Goal news from Brighton. It's the second goal for Brighton and Hove Albion. 52 minutes clean. 2 1. Cheers, Alan. What a chance here. Oh! Oh, that's a fantastic goal. Well, this is a team and a half to be honest, and they're running uh, the opposition ragged and a goal to show for it. It's wonderful to see, I mean, they're creating chances at will, and you don't see that too often. So after the goal, we've opened the scoring here, 1-0. The home team about to make a change. Straight in sharply, read it well, got in there quickly. Positional play of this player is really good. A goal from uh, the Etihad, Alamakanali. It's another goal for Manchester City. It's been scored by Kevin De Bruyne. He timed his run perfectly. to meet a clever pass round the keeper. 61 minutes played, 4-1. Thanks, Alan. Options available on the bench for the away side today. Managers in both the dugouts want to make a change. You'll see the new players getting ready. And that's a very successful slide tackle. It's a goal for Wolverhampton Wanderers. 68 minutes played. 1 0. Thank you very much, Alan. Really on top of their game now. Wonderful understanding. I know how hard they work now, the officials, and the assistant referee here has called an offside that, well, with the naked eye, we thought it was on, but he was right. Yeah, he was, and you get so much stick from the crowd behind you if you get it wrong, and uh, he stuck to his guns there, well done. That's where you want to try and get control in midfield, and they've got the ball. Good idea, well picked off by the opponent. got three points, the home team, from their last five league games. Yeah, it's a meagre return, and it might cost them come the end of this season, and uh, a chance here, though, to put things right. Goal news from Fulham, Alan McAnally. It's the second goal for Arsenal, 79 minutes played, 2-1. Cheers, Alan. Chance for him. Oh, good work from the keeper. Would have been a crunching tackle if he'd felt it, but he got out of the way of it. That's going to be easy for the keeper to collect. Goal news from the Etihad, Alamakanali. It's another goal for Manchester City. Five minutes remain. 5 1. Thanks, Alan. Oh, a great run. Visitors. Nigh perfect, not quite. 
They've drawn one game at the last five. They've won the other four. Yeah, one of the form teams in this division and uh, a team to be feared, I think. That's a great clearance. Added time coming up. There will be two minutes of it. Excellent positioning, and the interception is made. So it has finished here at 2-0, and a very good game it was. I guess the opposition will feel that they could have maybe shown a bit more punch, but I'm afraid one team was much better than the other. Yeah, they just weren't good enough on the day, the losing side. Uh... We expected a bit more, I have to say. So it's full time with a final score 2 0. I'll leave you with the full match highlights. And until next time, I've been Jeff Stelling.